going to make a turntable for animation. This is the best way to show you the, the 360 view of your object. So with our camera selected, I'm going to create a empty with a shift A and then down here I'll select empty. And then with that I'm going to change the name to camera focus C A M F O C camera focus so with the camera first selected and then shift select I can group the two together or parent them by holding the control and then hit P and it's parented so now wherever I move this the camera should follow actually vice versa what we want to do is keyframe this uh, notice that the camera is a child to the focus so if we select the focus and set a keyframe for the the Z rotation insert single keyframe and then at frame 91, we'll do the same thing. So frame 91, we'll set this value to 360. And then we'll keyframe a single. And then we'll change the end value to 90 frames. And that should be all you need. So let's play back our camera flying around <clears throat> so now let's get inside that camera so I'm going to select it and then choose control and then the zero insert key on the keyboard and that should put me right inside well view camera and inside okay so now when we play back you'll see that we're inside the camera and it's circling around. I've got two problems. One is we're too low, so I'll have to select and pull this up a bit. Okay, maybe we'll pull it over just a touch. And then the other problem is we're um, we're pausing. We're slowing down when we get to the uh, beginning and end. It pauses and it pauses. Okay. So if I change to the curve editor here, uh, excuse me, the graph editor, and then select what's transitioning here is the, um, it's the Z rotation. Um, if I hit the home key, which is uh, <clears throat> next, it's, uh, it's the center all. So if I hit, uh, what is it? view center all you'd see that we want to change this to key and we want to change the interpolation to linear so it goes straight from beginning to end and through the keyframes and now we'll play back so I'm going to go back to my timeline and pull this back down a little bit and just hit the play okay So that's as easy as it gets for making a turntable. And then now you'll render out, which is a whole other story. But that's how you create the uh, turntable.